A HIGH RISE RESCUE CAUGHT ON CAMERA AND NOW THE SARASOTA FIREFIGHTER WHO SAVED A MAN DANGLING OFF A BUILDING 17 STORIES HIGH IS SHARING HIS STORY OF THOSE SCARY MOMENTS. NEWS CHANNEL 8'S JOHN ROGERS JOINS US NOW LIVE IN SARASOTA TO TELL US ABOUT ALL OF IT. AND JOHN, I MEAN, THIS IS THE KIND OF SITUATION THAT WOULD RATTLE ALMOST ANYBODY. Oh, yeah, the firefighter told me, Jen, that he was nervous, his heart was racing, but there was a man dangling there and he was in danger, and it was his job to save him. On Sunday morning, a dangerous high rise emergency unfolded at this construction site. Way up there, 17 stories high, a scaffolding platform broke off its wires and was dangling, and a man was trapped. He was backed up, had his hands on a couple of the other scables, and uh, had his feet kind of braced on the sides. Firefighter Paul Zoller and his team made it to the roof and decided the only way to save him was to rappel down and get him. If all from that height, um, no, there wouldn't be any survival. So with the help of his team, Zoller got in his harness and went over the edge. There was, some, there was some adrenaline. There was definitely some adrenaline. Oh, you're talking about hanging over the side of a building with a rope between you and death. So the danger is very high. Zoller precariously made his way down. We judged more on not so much the clock, but on our success. The clock was ticking, and it was difficult for that construction worker to hang on. Soon enough, Zoller arrived and was able to carry him up. The cables are specifically designed to hold a lot of weight. One cord on its own can hoist a car. Thanks to a team effort, the construction worker's life was saved. We were all just thankful that, you know, the rescue went well, that he's okay, everybody on our team was okay, and, and the call went real smooth. Zoller doesn't see himself as a hero. He's just part of a hardworking team that was doing its job. It's a team effort and team rescue. These sorts of calls are very rare, but firefighters frequently train for these because, as this showed, an emergency can pop up at any time. In Sarasota, John Rogers, News Channel 8.